Hi, my name is Beverly. I'm a second year medical student at Imperial and I moved to London from Kent. I'm here to myth bust some of the common perceptions about life as an Imperial student. So the first myth is that the workload at Imperial is overwhelming. This is also something I was particularly worried about before starting, but I realised that once I actually got to Imperial and started the course, I didn't feel like I was thrown in. And there, I also realised that there was a lot of support available to you as well in terms of lecturers, um, tutorials, even societies who put on tutorials later on in the year, just um, a bit closer to exam season. And I feel like these tutorials, they really help to consolidate the information that you've learned and so that the foundation that you've created is really solid and you can continue to build on that during your years at Imperial. I also think that the one of the most important things is to not compare yourself to other students because everyone has their own pattern and everyone has their own paces. So it's just important to keep that in mind as you go through. So another myth is in relation to the female to male ratio at Imperial. This was definitely something I was thinking about before I started. But to be honest, when my first friend at Imperial was a female and the majority of my friends right now, they're females. So, and I also realized later on that in my course it was about 50-50 in my year. So I really don't think it's something to stress or particularly be worried about because you'll definitely find friends that share the same or similar interests to you later on, whether it's in societies or even like during your lectures, you'll make friends there. And honestly, you don't really think about any ratios later on in the course because you get so used to the people around you and it's like becoming like a community to you. So the next myth is that you can't have a social life at Imperial. I feel like it's difficult not to be social since the university is in London and there are always like completely new things to do almost like every month, every day. There are always new places that you can see, new things you can do and I feel like it really depends on you as a person and like the friends that you're with because maybe you're just naturally not social because I personally can, didn't consider myself to be a social butterfly um, during first year. But I feel like there are a lot of opportunities to become social in terms of societies and clubs like um, ACS, that's what I mainly joined in year one and year two, that's African Caribbean Society. I also tried netball for a bit um, and I got involved with other clubs like Teddy Bear Hospital. So there are loads and loads of societies, whether they're, they're educational, charitable, cultural, that you can get involved with. So you can definitely have a social life at Imperial. So the next myth is that you'll find it really difficult to find friends at Imperial. This one is definitely a myth because I think it's a lot easier than you think to make friends because everyone is in the same boat as you. Everyone is starting a, a new university. People are coming from different countries with no like family. So it's really, everyone shares is sharing the same experience as you. You don't just meet friends in your societies, you meet friends in your accommodation, when you're coming out of lectures, when you're doing projects with each other. So I definitely don't think this is something that you should be worried about and stress over because even if you don't make friends on your first day, I didn't make friends on my first day, you will definitely find people that you click with later on and those friendships will really, really last a long time. Final myth is that it is impossible to live in London as a student. So this one was something my mum was worried about, I was worried about, my family was worried about because London can be um, seen as really expensive but the important thing is to manage your money well and set budgets for yourself, whether it's for the week or the month. And I think something that I can't stress enough is also getting discounts. 
and downloading apps like uni days or even monzo that kind of help you to track your spending and there are also part-time jobs up, um, available as well that you can do during the summer during the year that imperial helps you with so yeah you can definitely 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 live in london as a student bye thanks for watching i really hope that you found this helpful